Hello everyone, this is Patty, and uh, today we're going to be working on fabric flip with secret pockets. Um, I was inspired to make this from uh, one of the uh, envelope thingies that um, Angela Kerr made, and I just added my own little thing onto it. So. Um, that's what we will be doing, but first of all, um, I'd like to give huge hugs and love to Sandy Garrett, Beverly Nielsen, Sparkles Creations Art, Lena's Crafty Corner, Tammy's Passions, and Deborah Day. Um, I thank you all so much for your lovely comments, and I thank all of my subscribers who have been watching me and commenting and of course those thumbs up also really help so if you do visit and you're not a subscriber and like my videos please give me a like and if you go um, to the subscribe button underneath where there's an arrow down below and click on the bell you'll receive future notifications when I have other videos so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, oops, one more thing. I won another giveaway and it was actually on Instagram. And it's from the Paper Queen store. And what she makes are uh, magnets that um, go onto the edges of your pages. So I won three of those. You can see the fronts and the backs are the same. And um, her shop is on Etsy called the Paper Queen Store. And she's also Paper Queen 92 on Instagram if you'd like to check her out. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. And then we'll go ahead and get started. So what I did, I started out with this large envelope and I actually cut it uh, down here and also up at the top. You can do this with any size envelope you would like. And I'll just give you the measurements of mine so you'll get an idea of how big mine is. It measures four and a half inches across and then the total length of it is nine and a half inches, okay? And then I folded it at one and a half inches right here. Well, I didn't go all the way, but um, I just marked either side and bent it over. Okay. And then go ahead and take the bone folder and oops, make it as even as I can. And then the side that closes, it was torn a little bit and I, I glued that down the best I could. And the slit is going to be on the right hand side because it's going to be on uh, the right hand side of my page. Now if you do it on the left hand side, you could have it open on this end and not cut this side. So what we will begin with is the front part and I've already cut the papers to size here and what I did was I cut it so when this is folded folded over you know it um, would go up underneath and if this is crooked when we glue that down I can just cut that off so, um, I am going to get my glue stick. Oh, before we do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and ink first. Um, and since I am doing mine in purple and black in this um, journal that I'm making, we'll go ahead and do the edges. And I'm going to do them pretty dark around here. Oops. 
totally missed there. I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm filming on Sunday. To be honest with you, I had already filmed this once. And <laughs> am redoing it. And I'll sh show you why at the end. Because I really messed it up. We're going to do the back side as well on the edges. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall day today. Um, no rain and um, it's a high of 77 today. It's not windy or anything. It's just like the perfect temperature. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and um, take this piece and I'm going to glue it down. And I am going to, I should probably ink this as well, just a little bit on the edges. To get the white edges off of there. You can use um, whatever type of glue you wish. I'm just going to use a glue stick just to try to go a little quicker. And then the parts that you miss, you can always go back and glue them down with your regular wet glue. this top part together this flap you can go ahead and glue that down to the fold line okay and then I have another piece cut from the bottom of that and I'm just going to put that right on top of there. Okay. And I forgot to ink it, so we'll just go around it a little bit. There we go. Now, before we do the back of it, we're going to go ahead and put the fabric in. I said it was, you know, it was the fabric flip. So I have this piece here with some uh, purple florals and polka dots on it. So I thought that would go really well. And I know I got this somewhere in, in pieces, you know, with little pieces of material. So this and the other piece that I used <laughs> that I messed up on um, was all I had. And then this one I'm going to set in here. Let me just put my glue cap on. And that will go right like this. And I'm going to grab a clip. Because what I'm going to do now is sew around 
this little box right here. So now would be the time to sew before we mess with the back. So I will go ahead and sew around that and I will be right back. So I got that sewed. Now I'll just cut the threads off at the ends and we'll have something like this. You can trim this off if you like, doesn't matter. But I'll just do that to make it a little neater up here. Okay. So that's what our front will look like so far. And now we'll go ahead and do the back. So what I'm going to do is put uh, a piece so it can be flipped up. So I'm going to add that first. Just... Get that piece. So I just took a piece of scrap and what I'm going to do is I have this edge puncher here. You can use whatever you want or you don't even, <clears throat> excuse me, or you don't even have to do it. So I'm just gonna do that on the bottom edge. some reason. Hope I don't mess it up. Okay, there we go. And then this was, let me see, I think um, two and a half inches. And then I folded in it in half. I'm just going to take and ink the edges a little bit. And then we're just going to put it, okay, make sure you have it the right way when it's like this, facing the right way, it's going to be flipped up, okay? So we're just going to take our glue, and that just flew over. I haven't seen one of those for a while. Okay, and we're just going to put that down here at the bottom. Oops, didn't get it real straight. There we go. I think that'll work. Yes. I need to glue that down a little better, I think. Where's my bin folder? I kind of want to get it so it lays right. Yep, it's glued pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to do the inside. Here's, um, where's the, this is the thin, this is regular paper. Um, and this is going to be inside the envelope. And the reason why I'm doing this because when you um, put the thumb hole in, you're going to see behind, like in the pocket. So I'm just going to um, stick this down real quick. And I'm going to use the glue stick for that. try to make sure I get the edges really well.
a little crooked. I'm always crooked. <laughs> ah, boy. Let's just do it like this. Maybe that'll be easier. On the edge there. there we go. Just get my card. Spread that out. I'm trying to get it without getting it on the fabric. Okay. There we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is I have another piece exactly the same with the same measurements. This one actually is larger than the front one. I think this was the full eight inches minus maybe an eighth. Yep. Because of this fold here, I made it a little sh shorter. So what we're going to do is take our circle punch first or thumb hole punch, whatever you have. And I'm just going to um, guesstimate the center and this will be on the left hand side of the paper. Oopsies. Just knocked something down. As long as it doesn't spill, I don't mind. <laughs> I have so much stacked up around me though, so. Okay. So this is gonna go on like this. Okay, put these aside. Oops, I need to refill my glue as well. as possible with the outer edge and the top and we're just going to press that down oops yes and I'm just going to take that okay so now we have that pocket and now we have two more secret pockets. So what I did, this is also another, there's that nap. Okay, as I was saying, I cut the same piece of paper and then from the bottom part of it and the top part of it, I cut pieces that were two and a half inches, I believe. Yes, two and a half, okay. And we're going to glue those on as pockets. But before I do that, I am just going to ink the outsides, but not the middle. Because it's going to look like all one picture. And that's where the secret comes in as well. Because I don't want black lines running through the middle, if you see what I'm saying. Okay. Let me put this down and we're going to go ahead and glue the top on, which is sort of like an upside down pocket. Oops. this right to the top of this one so it matches up okay and now we're going to do the same with the bottom pocket and we're going to glue the three sides
so that they more or less match up to the picture. And there we go. Now all we have to do is glue it into our journal. And I have my page here somewhere. Here we go. It's this one here. Oh, now I can show you. Oops. I forgot to decorate the front part right here. But I'll show you what I did with the other one since we're already this far. I sewed this in upside down so the flowers are on this side. So what I might do is slow stitch on, on this and, and put these up so it's, it's not a total waste. And I'll have it for another project. So I'm going to put it on this page here. So I am going to take it out to put it in. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and, and decorate the top. I think I'm going to have it. Oh, this part needs to be inked. And we don't want that showing. Let me get some more. We don't want that showing a lot. Wow, I really made that dark, didn't I? Okay. Let me see. I think I'm just going to make it even. That's what I'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue all over this. Sorry if I'm blurring the camera. Usually when I get up this close with a glue, it tries to focus in on the glue. I just want to be able to see these little swirls here. Oops, got caught in the hole. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. I'm going to hold it up this way so I can kind of get it where I want it. Up at the top there. That will work. down there. So now we can decorate the top. And I had picked out a few things. Which this was hmm, this. I think I'll put that there. And then it was undecided between that and this. I think I'm going to go with this more neutral color. We'll just get some fabric tack here. Ooh, I forgot about. I made the hole bigger. Now it's really coming out. But we want to watch this top part because um, of flipping it up. So I think I'm okay. And then this part will go right here. And I'm just going to use the smaller tip for that. thought it was going to be a little over this way more. There we go.
and I already inked this around the edges with black lightly okay and we're just gonna put this right there so we've got the pocket here flip it up we have the pocket here make sure it's not glued down and then we have the pocket here in the pocket up here which I will fill when I put the rest of the things in the pockets so I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, try it out for yourself and I hope you all have a wonderful day I will see you soon bye bye